You guys know me for the best players under certain price points. And with EA releasing the Foot Fantasy last week, it's a good time for me to go through and review each card. And I've come up with the best 11 Foot Fantasies that you want to pick up. Now, obviously, the best ones are like 1 million coins, and we no one can afford that, let's be honest. So most of these players, I think all of them are at least under 150,000 coins, with a lot of them being under 100,000 coins for you guys at home. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite Foot Fantasy card, and let's go. If you're broke like me and you need some coins, then head over to U4GM. They offer the cheapest and reliable coins on the market right now. And if you use code James, you get a discount at checkout. It is the top link in the description. So the first player we have gone for, we've gone for Christopher Trimmel. Now, this card, he's six foot two. You can play right back, right wing, or right mid. 91 strength, 91 stamina. He's going to be up and down. With 88 interceptions and 86 stand tack, he's going to be good at defending. 84 ball control and dribbling's all right. The agility and balance is a little low. But 95 crossing is absolutely amazing. He's also got the long throw-in trait if you want to use that. 86 long pass is really nice. 85 shot power is good and 87 pace. This card is going to get a couple upgrades as well because Uni and Berlin are on lanes right now. I think we're looking at an 89 or a 90 card here. Next, we've got this Arman Loriente. 5'10", 4-star, 4-star. Four star. I've got to say, Trimble's also 30,000 coins, dead cheap. But back to this, Donny. 90 stamina, 97 balance, and 90 dribblings. Lovely. 90 crossing as well with 98 free kick accuracy. He's going to be taking the free kicks. He's got no traits, unfortunately. 91 curve as well, so he's... Finesse shot should be hitting, really. 90 shot power. 82 finishing's a little low, but the 90 shot power, the Rashford effect comes into play when you hit it with this guy because the shot's gonna be so powerful. It's gonna go in most of the time. 89 pace is pretty good from the Sassuolo and France. He's not bad. And Sassuolo have got some decently favorable games and he's only 30,000 coins. Next, we've got X star boy, Deli Ali. Now, he's four star, four star. He's six foot two. Can play camp or center midfield. 83 stamina is a little low, but 86 strength is lovely. He's got the outside of the foot shot track. So you know them short, long shots do be hitting. With 90 finishing, 90 short pass and 87 vision. 92 ball control, 90 dribbling. Agility and balance is actually all right as well. 75 stand tackle with 85 pace. Obviously, Besiktas are one of the best teams in Turkey. Delhi plays a little bit, not too much. But I'm going to go with a conservative 2 to 3 maybe rating extra. Looking at an 89, 90 card, I think. Again, you're looking at about 30,000 coins on this card. It's well cheap. So match Trimble on the left side. We're going for Angelino. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. He plays for Hoffenheim. He can play left back, left mid, or left wing back. Spanish from the Bundesliga is actually really good as well. He's got the outside of the foot shot trait and the early crosser trait. 90 stamina means he's going to be up and down that line like no man's business with the 89 pace. It's really, really good. 89 interceptions with 86 defensive awareness and stand tackle is really nice as well. Going forward, this card transforms though. 90 agility and balance and ball control and dribbling. Means he's going to feel super smooth and super sticky on the ball with 92 crossing and 85 short pass and long pass and 87 curve as well. In and around the box, 74 finishing with 85 shot power. Say he's also got the outside of the foot shot trait. He probably will score a bag. I will admit, Hoffenheim aren't really that good, but he's about 30,000. He's 35,000 coins. Again, all, all of these cards are 35,000 coins. What's going on? Hoffenheim then, I'll admit they're not great. Next, we've got Fernando and now, yes, I know what you're thinking. Severe, they are they are god awful, but this card, he can play center back and now let me let me show you this card at center back. Firstly, he's six foot with 80 jumping. That should be, that should get you through to be honest, unless you're playing like Peter Crouch or something. 90 strength and 88 aggression is really nice with 85 stamina. 90 interceptions, 90 defensive awareness and 90 stand tackle. It's amazing. Dribbling wise, he's got the 87 reactions and then 85 composure. Now, Fernando actually plays for Sevilla, so he will at least get a plus one. But to be honest, Sevilla are really, really bad, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is a just one card. 81 pace is nice, 91 short pass. It's just a nice little tidy card. I think he's underrated. You pick this guy up for about 40,000 coins as well. He's a little bit more expensive, but he's probably worth it. Next, we've got Mitoma. And well, I was actually shocked when I saw this guy's price. This guy's like 45,000 coins. He's so cheap. Yes, he has only got the three-star weak foot, but he's got the four-star skill moves. He's going to make three appearances. He is probably going to get a goal or an assist. Ryan will definitely win and probably not lose. But he's got outside of the foot shot trait, which is crucial. 84 stamina is not great, but 75 strength for a wing is really nice. 97 agility, 90 ball control, and 91 dribbling. He's going to feel so smooth and sticky on the ball. 88 short pass with 83 vision with 87 finishing as well. And 93 pace is absolutely electric. Play left wing back, left mid, or left winger. Linkage wise, yeah, he is pretty hard to link because Brighton haven't really got that many good players on FIFA anyway. Um, and obviously Japanese is pretty hard to link, but he's about 45,000 coins, which is really, really good. Next, we've got Angel Gomez, who is probably one of the sauciest ballers I've ever seen. Five foot six, four star skill moves. Can he play cam? No, he can play striker though. He should be able to play cam really. 87 stamina is really good. He's got the finesse shot and the outside of the foot shot trait and Lille are decent English as well. 
not bad. 95 agility, 96 balance, 91 ball control, 90 agility, uh, battered, bleh, 90 dribbling. He's gonna feel so sticky on the ball again. 88 short pass. I'd play this guy at Cam, you know. 85 finishing, 83 shot power, 92 pace. 5 foot 6. He's gonna feel, oh, this right, imagine the right stick dribbling with this guy. It's gonna be absolutely naughty. Anyway, this card, I know, is a little bit more expensive. Um, For some reason, I cannot find him. Oh, apparently he's an SBC. I didn't actually read that. But he's 63,000 coins. Definitely get him in the team. Next, we've got Milan Skriniar, who's six foot two, low high. This card is unreal, by the way. 92 strength, 90 aggression, 88 jumping. He's a class defender in real life as well, so definitely get some upgrades. You could be looking at a 94 rare card here. I'm not joking. Those defendings. Oh my god, look at the defending stats. 89 interceptions, 90 to four offensive awareness, 93 stand tackle, 92 composure, and 91 reactions. Absolutely vital for a centre back to have good composure and reactions. 76 short passes all right and 82 pace is wonderful. Pretty hard to link, I'll be honest. Slovakia into Milan's got some decent links to be fair. But he's six foot two. He's got mad jumping. This guy's an absolute beast. And we're looking at about 130,000 coins. Definitely get that man in. Next, we've got our Peter Crouch, who I actually thought was four star weak foot, but he's five star skill moves. He feels so good in game. He's six foot seven with 86 strength, 85 stamina, and 82 jumping at six foot seven. He's going to win every single header going. 98 uh, heading accuracy as well. But dribbling wise, this is where this crouched card stands out because he's got 85 agility, 83 balance, and 88 ball control, 85 dribbling. He feels so good on game. 89 short pass is really nice. 92 finishing, 87 shot power, and 89 attack positioning. With 91 penalties and 92 volleys with 85 pace. This card is naughty. So naughty that when I checked his price, he was 100 and like 20k, I think. But I think he's gone up a little bit now. He's like 150k, we'll say. That's still absolutely crazy. Next player is actually from Fantasy Heroes. Um, Ricken, which is decent. He's four star, four star, five foot ten. 86 stamina is really nice. Can he play right mid? He can play right mid or center forward. I don't know why he can't play center mid. I swear he's a normal card count. But anyway, he's got good stamina, good heading accuracy. Defending wise, not actually that bad, to be fair. 84 agility, 91 reactions, 91 composure, and 87 ball control. Really, really good. 88 vision with 88 short pass. So he's going to be pinging them passes about. But this is where he comes into his own. 89 finishing, 86 shot power, 91 long shots with 90 attack positioning. Put that with 87 pace and Borussia Dortmund are on an absolute flyer right now. You're probably looking at a 90 rated card here and he's like 80k? 75k-ish? Really, really good value to be honest. Next is Guri, who we obviously know is a bit of a beast. He plays striker or on the left side or at centre forward. Four star, three star. I'd like that to be four star, four star. But this card is free. He's 83 stamina, which is not that good, but 82 strength is pretty good. He's got the finesse shot and the outside of the foot shot trait. Dribbling wise in 90 81 dribbling, 89 ball control, and 85 agility. He's going to feel really sticky on the ball, but because he is 5 foot 11 as well, he's going to feel, he's not going to get pushed over. This guy's not a pushover. He will be able to do bits. 88 short pass, 87 curve comes in for the finesses and the outside of the foot shot traits. 85 crossing is not bad, but finishing wise, 87 finishing with 87 shot power and 88 attack position. This guy's going to be absolutely deadly in front of goal. With 91 pace as well. Stad Rene actually beat PSG yesterday, which is bonkers to me, but you know. So they're a decent little team. Check out those players under 250k over here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. Peace.